Hey everybody, it's Paul from Cary Estate Planning, back with another video. Uh, and it's Sunday again, Sunday morning, just like last week, my wife's doing a long run. She's doing 10 miles today, so I took the boys to Briggs for breakfast. Connor and Mason, and Connor's birthday party was yesterday. And he got these great toys, uh, Nala and Simba, and they talk. Can you squeeze them so they talk? Simba, can you talk too? There you go, so cool. <clears throat> but I was, uh, you know, sitting this morning with with my kids uh, eating breakfast, and uh, was thinking about the week ahead. And I'm going to be flying to Phoenix at the end of the week, you know, late Wednesday night for a couple conferences on uh, law practice management. And um, it got me thinking, you know, people travel all the time. A lot of uh, spouses, you know, one will stay home while the others, you know, traveling for business and and sort of. Um, it's probably more frequent than people realize, or or the significance of that is is uh, sort of uh, doesn't you know uh, equate for people sometimes. But uh, you know when one spouse leaves and goes on on uh, a trip or travels, there's always a risk that something could happen, a sickness or a, or an accident. Something? Yeah, at the end, you can say something at the end. Okay, <clears throat> there's always a risk that something could happen, and and so it's really important to do pre planning, not just from a legal perspective, but making sure that the other spouse who's who's staying home with the kids or without, you know, has access to all accounts, uh, everything is appropriately beneficiary designated to the other spouse, um, that you have powers of attorney in place. If, if I'm in an accident, for instance, uh, while I'm gone, you know, my wife is my, you know, uh, attorney in fact, and she can help coordinate my affairs if I need that. And that's something that a lot of people don't have in place. So when you do this sort of travel, uh, whether it's short term, long term, frequent or infrequent, it's always good to do a self-assessment and see what is your financial and uh, legal affairs look like. And, and if there's gaps, it's good to plug them uh, ahead of time, certainly uh, mitigate or eliminate that risk. Um, Mason, you want to say something? So I I take care of a lot of animals uh -huh. and this is Nala, my pet. Uh -huh. And Connor, what do you do? And she has massive drives. And I yeah. A lot of animals. Who do you have, Simba? Simba? Yeah, what are you guys going to do when we get home? Um, play Lion King, of course. That's great, of course, right? And we're going to play soldiers, of course, and, and guns. Okay, got it. And, and fight so it looks like we have a, a long day ahead of us, filled with excitement, playing lions, Lion King, soldiers, those sorts of things. But um, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, make sure that you like our Facebook page and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Uh, any questions about you know preparing for travel, go ahead and drop them in the comment box below. Um, if you want to go ahead and, and get planning provisions in place prior to an upcoming trip, click the link below and contact us and we'll follow up and schedule an appointment to meet with you and decide you know uh, what that strategy needs to look like for you. Hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday and a, and a great week uh, coming up. This is Paul from Cary State Planning.